Welcome to this Cydox instructional video on how to automatically install and deploy an HPUX VM in the cloud. This video assumes that you already have a user account at Cydox, so if you don't already have one, you may want to view the instructional video titled How to Create a New User Account at Cydox. This video is available from the Cydox Knowledge Base under the category of instructional videos. You can get to the knowledge base from the Cydox website by going to the main menu bar, click on support, and knowledge base. The first step will be to open a browser window and point the browser to Cydox.com, which I will do here. You will see the Cydox homepage and in the upper right hand corner of the screen you'll see a link labeled account. Press this link to display a pull down menu and in this menu click login and the login screen will be displayed where you will enter your email address and password associated with your user account at Cydox. I have a demo user account set up that I will use for the purpose of the video so I will enter video at Cydox.com and then the password associated with that and you would of course enter your own email address and password and then press the login button. The account home screen will be displayed where you can view several different types of information including the number of active services you have, any invoices that are due, and any open tickets that you may have open support tickets. Since this demo account is a new account there will not be any active services, invoices due, or open tickets. So to automatically deploy an HPUX VM go to the main menu bar, select hosting, and then select HPUX VMs. This will display a screen with a couple of options for ordering HPUX VMs. The first option is for ordering a one-time short-term HPUX VM and the second option is for ordering monthly reoccurring VMs. Now the difference between these two options is that the first option, the one-time short-term option, allows you to lease by the day or the week or up to a month at a time whereas the monthly reoccurring option allows you to lease by the month and then automatically reoccurs each month. Now the, the one-time short-term option does not automatically reoccur when the lease expires. You must manually extend or renew the lease if you want to continue the lease. For the purpose of the video, I'm going to order a one-time short-term HPUX VM, so I will press the Order Now button associated with that option. and this will display the product configuration screen which shows the configurable options for an HPUX VM. The first option is the amount of time that you would like to lease the VM and you can press the pull down menu and then select the number of days, the number of weeks, or up to a month at a time to lease the VM. Uh, for the purpose of the video I'll choose one day. The next option is the operating system version you want to run. You can choose HPUX 11.31 or 11.23, and I'll select 11.31, which is the default option. Then you can choose the number of processors you want, the number, the, the amount of memory that you want, and the amount of storage that you want associated with your VM. Once you've selected all the configurable options in the way that you want your VM to appear, then you can press the Add to Cart button to add this order to your shopping cart. And that will display the order summary screen where it will show your new order and the options you selected. And then you can verify that that order is correct and then edit or remove that order if it is not correct. From the screen you can continue shopping by pressing this button and that will allow you to add additional products and services to your shopping cart before you check out. 
For the purpose of the video, I will just press the checkout button to continue with the order for the one single item that we have in the shopping cart. And that displays the checkout screen where it will show everything that is in our order, everything that we're getting ready to purchase, and we only have the one item in our shopping cart. And then it's going to also show us the details of the user placing the order. It'll show you the payment methods associated with that user when they set up their account. And then you can also enter any additional notes or information or instructions that you want for your HP UX VM. Then you'll need to press the checkbox next to the statement that says I have read and agreed to the terms of service. After that you can press the complete order button to finalize your order and then it will begin the build out process for your newly ordered HP UX VM. This will display the order confirmation screen and your order number is shown here. From this screen you can view the new service you just ordered by going to the account menu bar and selecting services and then selecting my services. This will display a screen showing your products and services that you have ordered at Cytox. Now since the demo user account was a new account it will only have the one service that we just ordered, the HP UX VM. We can also see on this screen that it is in a pending state which means that it is in the process of being built out. Now for an HP UX VM it is building it from scratch from an Ignite server and it takes about an hour to an hour and a half for that to create and configure the HP UX VM. So I will pause the video while that takes place and resume once the build out is complete. I'm resuming the video now. The HP UX build out is complete the server is now active and ready for user access. However, we still see this screen showing the HP UX VM in a pending state. So I will refresh this screen to update that status. And we now see our HP UX VM is in an active state. So the next question is how do I access this new HP UX VM that was just built? How do I connect to it? Well during the build out process of the VM you would have been sent an email that to inform you that a support ticket was created that contains your connection information. We don't send the connection information over email. We create a support ticket and then you have to log in and get that connection information out of the support ticket. So the email that you are sent contains a direct link to that support ticket. So you can check your email, click on the link, and access the support ticket that contains your connection information. You could also just go to your support tickets from this screen by going to the account menu bar and selecting support and go to tickets and that will display your list of open support tickets and we can see that we have one open support ticket that contains connection information. But before we look at that, let's look at the details of the HP UX VM that was just built. So to view the details, let's go back to the account menu bar, go to services and my services and that will take us back to the screen that shows us the list of services and we see our HP UX VM in an active state. So to view the details, let's click the View Details buttons. And this will display a screen that contains the details of the HP UX VM. So from the details, we can see the host name and we can see the amount of time that the VM was leased. We can see the operating system that was installed. We can see the number of processors that was requested, the amount of memory, and the amount of storage that was requested. Now also here we can see an expire date and a terminate date. And the expire date 
is the date and time of when the lease will expire on this HPUX VM. At this date and time, the expired date and time, the HPUX VM will be suspended, but it will not be removed. Everything on the VM will still exist, but it will be inaccessible after this date and time. The terminate date is the date and time of when the HPUX VM will be deleted and removed. After this date and time, the VM will not be recoverable. Now, the web interface will allow you to add time to an active lease by extending the lease. So you can extend or add time to an existing active lease up to and until the expire date and time. However, the procedure to extend the lease is covered in a different video, so you'll need to look at the list of instructional videos in the knowledge base to view that video. But be aware that there is a function in this page to extend the server lease and you can add time to an existing active lease using this function. But remember to extend a lease you've got to do that before the expire date and time. After this expire date and time you would have to use a renew function and the renew function only appears after this date and time, only appears in this page after this date and time. So again, the renew function is covered in a different video, so you'd need to go to the knowledge base. So the two ways to extend time on an existing VM, an existing HPUX VM, is you can extend your lease, you can add time to the lease. If you do that before the expire date, after the expire date, you would need to renew the lease. And after the terminate date, uh, then the VM is gone and can't be recovered. So finally now let's look at the connection information. So let's go to the account menu bar. We'll select support and go to tickets and look at our list of tickets. And we see the one single support ticket uh, that is for our HPUX VM that we just created and we see that it contains connection information. So I'll click on that support ticket to view the contents. And in this support ticket, we'll see the connection information. We will see the host name, and that's what you use to connect to your VM. We'll see the firewall connection port. You have to uh, provide a firewall connection port to be able to connect to it, to get through the firewall. We'll see a randomly generated username and a randomly generated password. And we also see an example of an SSH command that can be used to connect to your HPUX VM. So be aware that the only firewall port that is open by default to your HPUX VM. So to connect to your HPUX VM you can use the SSH command as shown here or you can use PuTTY or some other SSH tool. So just to review how we can get to and look at the connection information, we can go to the account menu bar and select support and tickets as we just did and then look for the support tickets that are labeled connection information or we can go to the account menu bar, press services and my services and then look for our active VMs and look at the view details. Click on the view details button and in the details there will be a link in there called connection information. You can click on that link and it will take you directly to that support ticket. So that is it on how to automatically install and deploy an HPUX VM in the cloud. If you would like additional information on the various products and services offered by Cydox, then you can go to Cydox.com, look in the knowledge base, and there are lots and lots of instructional videos out there that tell you how to perform all of the features and functions associated with auto automated deployment of systems into the cloud. There is also a list of services provided by Cydox 
out there in the knowledge base and then there are lots of how-to articles there as well. That is the end of this video. Thank you for listening and watching.